Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm making one of my personal favorite bars of soap. I say that on several of them, but this is one of my top favorites using this fragrance from Brambleberry Lemon Bar. This is just so good and it's Oh my word, it is spot on. It's juicy and sweet and oh my word, it's everything you'd want a lemon bar to smell like in a bottle. So, uh, and I've soaked with this before. It behaves beautifully in soap. It does discolor to a tan, which is not unusual because of the vanillin content, but it's well worth it. So, because I'm thinking of lemon bars, I wanna do a crust layer. And to color that layer, I'm gonna use my organic cacao powder because you know, that's foodie, right? And um, it's a beautiful brown color in soap. It soaps really well. So cacao for a little bottom crust. And then I'd like to come in with my frosting comb and just do a little texture, maybe throw some mica down. And then for the yellow portion to represent the lemon, I'm going to use my Firefly Yellow from Nurture Soap, because I just think that's lemony and beautiful. Um, and I, I'm thinking about doing poppy seeds because my daughters love lemon poppy seed, pretty much anything. <laughs> so I have these organic poppy seeds and I'm not sure if I want to put them in the body of the soap. They are a gentle exfoliant feel. Um, some people don't like the scratchiness in the bar, so I may just put them on top. I'm still thinking about it. They look really pretty in the soap, but I may just stick to the top. Hmm, I wish you all were here and I could ask you your opinion. <laughs> I should do an opinion a poll on scratchy things in your soap. Some people love a scrubby bar of soap and other people don't. So anyway, these will be incorporated somehow, either on top or in or both. I'm, I'm still thinking on it, but it's gonna be a goat milk and oil method soap today because goat milk is foodie and it's wonderful. So that's gonna go in there. And I think that's it. I'm gonna get everything pulled together and uh, let's make some, oh my word, yummy lemon bar soap. All right, I've got all of my oils and butters melted and it's time to add the additives to my oil portion. So I've got my kale and clay here. This is a two tablespoon measure of kale and two tablespoons of colloidal oats. And I have my wonderful goat milk here. And I'm also going to be adding the fragrance right in here because I have worked with this before. It soaps really, really nicely. And that way I don't have to be concerned about getting it split evenly into all the colors and all that. So when I know a fragrance is gonna behave, I add it to the oils. So in it goes. Oh, I wish you could be here with me to smell this. Brambleberry's lemon bar is just, it literally smells like fresh baked lemon bars. They, they nailed it. It's the best one I've ever found. So that's that. <laughs> Let me get these blended in and then we will get moving forward with our soap. So it's time to add the lye solution, which has sodium lactate, tussa silk, and cane sugar in here. Um, I kind of breeze through that really fast. So let me tell you, I take my portion, my equal portion of distilled water to lye, and I have the water. I dissolve the sugar in the water first. Then I snip up my little silk fibers, put them in there, then pour the lye crystals over that, and the heat from the lye melts the silk, and then after I get this cooled down a little, I add my sodium lactate. So that is how I prep my lye solution. And this is a just about a 50-50 split of lye distilled water. I do a little bit generous on the water just, you know, to make sure. But uh, when you do a steep discount of lye water solution, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, when you do a steep discount, you want to make sure you have at least as much water as lye. You never want to go less liquid. So whatever volume of lye you're using, you always want at least that much liquid to mix with it. So that's what's going on in this little magical bucket. I'm going to hand stir this to emulsion and then I will stick blend my little bottom layer here to get it up to a nice trace so I can use my frosting comb in there. Sure wish y'all could be here with me to smell this. <laughs> so I decided after thinking about it that I'm not going to put poppy seeds in the, in the body of the soap because lemon bars don't normally have poppy seeds in them either. Uh, so I will save the poppy seeds for the top. 
and I might do a yellow swirl just to give it some interest in in the middle I might pull off a little portion for some TD and then the yellow and I've also decided let me get to emulsion here and I'll show you with my cocoa powder or cacao powder <laughs> on the bottom layer I have decided to add a little bit of chocolate brown mica to that just to um, make sure that it's a nice you know toasty brown sometimes cocoa can get a little light and uh, I just want to make sure that it stays nice brown so I'll be adding this what is it just chocolate brown mica from wholesale supplies plus just a little and then in with my awesome cacao powder and then I will blend this up to a nice medium trace um, so that we can get that hanger or that not the hanger get that frosting comb in there so let's get this blended up and poured in the bottom I can smell the chocolate too chocolate and lemon holy cow that's nice <laughs> It's the next day and I cannot wait to get in here. These smell so good. 
Uh, I did come down earlier this morning and steam the top just to gloss it up a little. It just looked a little dull. No soda ash, but anyway, I love how it came out. It looks like lemon bars, smells like lemon bars. I'm hoping I didn't break through that uh, frost and comb layer. I, I don't think I did, so let's. there's only one way to find out, and that's to get in here. Time to get these loaves cut using my lovely Olga. Uh, it doesn't look like I broke through the line down there, so I'm very happy about that, and I'm loving the subtle color here. Man, these smell fantastic. So I am gonna lay these with the poppy side um, facing down because I don't want any drag marks, or I want to minimize them at least. Get this lined up. You can just barely discern a little mica line there, but it's really pretty. Oh, these are great. I am just loving. They're kind of simple, but they smell luscious and yeah, pretty good. I may have to keep one of these for myself and my daughters. <laughs> This fragrance, it's divine. If you've never tried Brambleberry's Lemon Bar, mm, I suggest you give it a go. And I'm really glad that I added the, the um, chocolate brown mica to the cocoa powder. I really love that rich color there for my little crust. I think it's scrumptious looking. 